So guys, uh, what's more annoying for you to have to answer about Batman vs Superman in this gen kit, or you you don't have to answer anything about this? I think the most annoying thing is when people wear Batman t-shirts. I hate Batman yeah. t-shirts. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why do you hate Batman? Let me count the ways. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this year, in 2015, we have uh, Kingsman, uh, Mission Impossible, we have uh, Man from Uncle Spectre. But people uh, still say that's the superhero fatigue. Right. You guys are doing uh, spy movies. A spy genre. And spy there's, genre. There's, there's and a lot out and people are yeah. still complaining about superhero. What do you, do you think about this? That's an interesting question, actually. Uh, I think it's anything which is is prevalent and on top. People are going to complain about. Okay. Uh, at the moment, um, superhero genre is is the most prevalent sort of genre out there, despite the mm -hmm. fact that the spy genre is so strong this year. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just the nature of it. I mean, I, I think it's it's one of those decade-long genres with the superhero thing, which mm -hmm. is going to keep on going, and people will complain about it all the time, of course. Yeah. Um, but there'll be the secondary genre each year will will change, and this year happens to be spy. Okay, I, I was reading IMDb, and I saw that. Hugh Grant is the only one who have the own accent. How do you guys uh, train for this? YouTube. <laughs> a lot of time on YouTube, typing That's great. in Russian and listening to people speak Russian. And then also, we had a dialect coach on the set, a gentleman named Andrew Jack, mm -hmm. who he is a professional dialect coach, so he has headphones on and he just sits right off camera and just listens and comes over and goes, uh, when you said this word, um, make this A a little bit more rounded. And you go, okay, great, thank you. You know, so And how teamwork. difficult for you to, to work speaking it's not an, another language, but you have to always try to, to speak in another... I think in the beginning it's quite difficult because it feels yeah. very unnatural and you're very conscious of every word you say, but after time uh, you just find your stride with it and it becomes quite relaxed and natural and you can almost just... we do, you switch in, into it between action and cut. And uh, it, you do the switch, it's cut, yeah. you start. Speaking. Yeah, I mean, we don't walk around and he's oh. talking Russian all day, and I'm I'm talking in Napoleon's weird accent because <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> people would think I'm crazy. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, you eventually just become comfortable with it. it. It's like, like it's like speaking a second language. Do you want to wrestle? I did not say that. My last question is: I love the Ali Alicia's character. What What do you think about this in Hollywood in movies in general? Like what the girls are not like... Oh no, in this movie the girls are very, uh, girls yes, are very strong. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Like, yes. like, but in, in the, the most matters. movies, like, I don't know, they are not... I don't know if I agree. I, I think, um, I think sort of, it's, it's quite evenly balanced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just because Alessia is not here, I don't know. She's probably working. No, I, I, She's a very I, I, busy girl. Yes, yeah. yes. I talk because um, I, I really love the her character. By the way, the since we again. started this movie, since we started this conversation, mm -hmm. she's made five movies. I mean, <laughs> yeah. she's working all <laughs> the time. Yeah. She, she probably couldn't be here. Yeah, they probably wanted her here instead of us. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you, guys. Right. Thank, Thank you very much. much. <laughs> nice Thank talk you. to you.